The Stipa Caproni, or Caproni Stipa, was an experimental Italian aircraft from the 1930s, often viewed as an early predecessor to modern jet aircraft. It was designed by engineer Luigi Stipa, who had developed the theory of the ducted fan. The aircraft was a mid-wing monoplane primarily constructed of wood. It featured a barrel-shaped tubular fuselage enclosing both the engine and propeller. Luigi Stipa proposed the idea of the intubed propeller, suggesting that housing an aircraft's propeller inside a tubular fuselage could greatly improve its efficiency. The propeller was placed at the front of the fuselage. When it spun, it pulled air in from the front and pushed it out the back, helping to make the propeller work better and produce more thrust. The Stipa Caproni took its first flight on the 7th of October 1932, piloted by Caproni's test pilot, Domenico Antonini. Early tests confirmed that Luigi Stipa's intubed propeller design improved the engine's efficiency as he predicted. The plane featured a low fixed main landing gear with wheel covers and a tail wheel. It sported a blue and cream paint scheme, commonly seen on racing planes from that era, with the rudder displaying the colors of the Italian flag. The Stipa has a length of 6.04 meters, a wingspan of 14.30 meters, and a height of 3.24 meters. Its wing area is 19 square meters. The empty weight is 570 kilograms, and the gross weight is 850 kilograms. The Stipa Caproni was powered by a de Havilland Gypsy 3 engine, a four-cylinder inverted air-cooled piston engine that produced 120 horsepower. The initial test flights of the Stipa Caproni revealed some interesting findings. Contrary to many expectations, the aircraft proved to be stable and relatively easy to handle. However, the plane's performance had both positive and negative aspects. The main goal of the Stipa Caproni's design was to boost efficiency and speed by minimizing drag and maximizing thrust. Although the test flights indicated some efficiency enhancement from the Venturi tube design, they fell short of the significant improvements Luigi Stipa had expected. The aircraft could reach a top speed of only 131 km per hour. The plane had a top speed that was noticeably slower than other aircraft from that era. This was mainly because the big, heavy fuselage added weight and drag, counteracting the advantages of the smooth airflow around the propeller. The Stipa Caproni, with its distinctive barrel-like appearance and innovative design, stands as a remarkable chapter in aviation history.